everybody, Larry Lawton here. We are for the next episode of The Cooking Show. And this is, of course, a different cooking show. I'm gonna be cooking wine and white lightning. So this is gonna be a little bit of a long process. So what I'm gonna do is prep the wine, set the wine, stick it outside. You gotta always find a hot spot for it. We used to put it behind the shower. We chiseled out a hole and had a bag made. Obviously, we're doing that. Before I get started, everybody, please check us out on YouTube, all our platforms. Check out the book, Gangster Redemption, The Cigars, CrookedDiamondCigar.com. And please, if you have not subscribed, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button, and pass it around, because we're having fun doing this, and we're going to bring more and more of this kind of content to you. All right, let's rock this thing. We used to do this every single week. We used to kick off 30 gallons of hooch, pruno, a bunch of different names, and it was wine. We'd make those wine, take 30 gallons, 15 gallons, every gallon's a quart, and we'd make necks. They're called necks, and I'm going to show you how we did that. We'd sell those, and they were $5, a book of stamps. Then we took the rest, and we cooked it off and made white lightning, which I'm going to do. All right, here's what you need. First thing you need is you need a place to put it. So you get trash bags, heavy trash bags that there would be around the whole unit. The guys who were the orderlies would get you a bag and you get that set. We had it set up with a mesh bag. We actually made a hole in the wall in the shower behind the plate. And we put the bag in there and we had a siphoning hose and we hid it there. And it's important you do it this way. We're going to do it uh, because you have to let it breathe. I don't know how I'm going to let it breathe here. We'll, we'll, we'll see where it goes, but it should be fun. You need sugar, you need fruit, some kind of bread. That's, we used to kick it off with bread. Bread is your yeast. That's what kicks it off. It's like an ignition. Then you need uh, any kind of fruit you can get off the commissary or any time uh, the, the officer's mess would have some. Sometimes they'd give fruit salads and stuff, and we would actually take that and use that for wine. Obviously, you need water. Approximately, you use about a pound of sugar per gallon and you get about five six percent alcohol the more sugar you use the more potent your wine or then white lightning will be so I'm gonna go heavy on the sugar and I'm gonna make this stuff really fire that's what I'm gonna do so here's what I got I got my water I got bags I got everything set and of course I have a drink now that is a lot better than the Pruno's gonna be. But you know, for all the time I was in prison, from 1996 until 2007, I drank this stuff. It didn't kill me, sure it did mess you up. Uh, but it's not a healthy thing. You can get uh, dizzy, you can get a lot of different stuff. There'll be flies in it sometimes. It's, it's not the most healthy thing you can do. Uh, I don't know how messed up. So I don't want anybody to try this at home. This is not that kind of show. This is being done by a professional. So the first thing I do, take my bag. Now in prison, I would actually have a couple guys hold it. They would hold this bag. Now we had these big thick bags, so we got a clear bag, and I'm gonna put it here to make sure we can just get everything in there. Now the reason you do this, and the reason you put your sugar and you mix it all up, is then we're gonna, what they call, cook it. Now, how do you cook wine? The heat itself and the yeast, the bread, will kick off the sugars. It's a chemical reaction. I'm not a scientist. I only know it works. So, first thing you do is you take whatever you have. You try to cut this as much away as you can. And you take it like this. See what I'm doing? And you put it all in there. This is going to be the biggest mess up thing in the world. But you know what? It gets you drunk. So I put all of this in here, as you can see. And we're going to keep doing this. And I'm going to do a lot of it. So that is part of it. And you squeeze, you squeeze. You want to get that juice in there. So that juice itself. Sometimes we did this. We got lazy. We just cut them and squeezed them. We didn't care. So, because it doesn't matter. This is not about being pretty. This is not about, uh, uh, oh, it doesn't have that perfect flavor. This is four-day-old wine. This ain't no year old or whatever it is. It's Pruno. I used to get so whacked on this stuff. My buddy Ron used to be like kind of my bodyguard and he'd catch me every place I went in that prison. I'm starting to fight, so I'm doing everything. And thank God I had Ron. Otherwise, I'd, I wouldn't be as pretty as I am now. So I'm gonna do all of these. I've witnessed and been in prison when a wine bag exploded. 
when they explode, the whole unit smells like a brewery. Uh, I am going to be putting this up in my shed, so God forbid something does happen. It's outside, and uh, maybe it'll keep the rats out of the shed. Now, this is what kicks it. Anything citrus. You could use apples. You could use uh, pineapples. You could use uh, oranges. Grapefruit are the best. Anything like this, it has a lot of fructose. You can use Jolly Ranchers. Yes, people do Jolly Ranchers. And they do that because there's fructose in it. So anything. Now, I'd like to show you this. So you can see what's going on? It's nothing on the bottom here except oranges. That's all we got. And notice what I'm doing. I keep squeezing. Now, look what I'm doing, everybody. Now, how we got this stuff, because it does cost money, is we tell one guy, hey, listen, you want it on this batch? Go pick up uh, uh, some juice of the commissary. You want it? One guy we had used to get the sugar out of the kitchen. He used to wear a size 14 shoes. He didn't wear a size 14, but he got them out of the laundry and he filled the whole tip every day with sugar. So what happened on the real world, I can get sugar. Oh, this is gonna be good shit. All right, we're on a roll. Now you add some sugar. I'm gonna put so much sugar, I'm gonna make this shit fire. 10 pounds of sugar with seven, eight pounds of... I might have to put this in a, another bag. I'm worried about this, the thickness of this bag. I'm kind of getting a little worried. But as you can see, everybody, it's getting there. Getting there. Clean. All right, in prison, we don't have this beautiful luxury. We actually do it on the floor. The two guys will hold the bags. But once we put the bags in the wall, we had it wrapped in like a mesh bag, uh, like a laundry bag. And with that, we uh, did it. So we are doing pretty good. I better get another bag. You see, in our prison, in Estrus Atlanta, we had the wine locked down. When I say locked down, what I mean by that is the white dudes had wine and certain dope, certain black guys used that, but we had the wine and a white lightning pretty much locked up. Now, we didn't have a spoon. What we used to use is anything you can do it. I'm, all I'm doing is taking that, that, that sugar and I'm mixing it up. Go ahead and see if we can pick that up, put it right here. I will tell you people, it's gonna be a workout getting this over to the uh, shed. I would take bread. Now we didn't have yeast. Sometimes we'd get yeast out of the kitchen. You know that cook who got you the yeast? He's the man. But when you can't get yeast, you take bread. You literally chop it up like this. You know, chop. It's yeast. Look what I'm doing. It's yeast. I didn't say it looks pretty. Okay. It's all in there. It's not easy. Oh. Now, it's hot in here. Perfect spot to cook it. As you can see, it's laying down. This is sealed and you'd want to have a little room in here because this will blow up. So now it can breathe. And I'm going to come back, today's Monday. I'm going to come back here Friday. Well, I'll check on it Wednesday. So I'm going to be in the RV and I'm going to cook it. So I'm going to make it, bag it up for wine, drink a little of that, and then I'm going to uh, cook some of it. All right, everybody. I brought this uh, postal box because the damn thing's heavy and I'm going to drag it and it has to also stay in the uh, RV. Whoa! Holy shit! <laughs> this teeth. Check that out. Check that out. Uh-oh, it has expanded. We're here to finish this video and we're here to cook this wine into white lightning. First I'm going to do is I'm going to make Nexa wine. We used to call them a neck of wine and it's just about a quart of wine. We used to take the coffee mate coffee cups and guys would buy that for a book of stamps. So this is the cooking show and you'll learn a great recipe here. Okay, now I'm going to need help uh, with this like I always did in prison. Everybody always needed help. So this thing smells bad enough. Make sure we don't, we don't wound the top so we don't lose any of it. Because in the joint, if we lost this stuff, we'd curse each other out. Might even fight somebody. Oh. 
Oh. Oh. That is called wine. It's the first thing you do, everybody. You take your wine. Obviously, look at the crap in it. So what do you do? You take another cup. This is what I do, everybody. See, notice what I'm doing. I'm doing it over. Very sanitary. Ooh. I don't know if they could see that. And even still got bread. And literally, I would do that. That's the way you do it. And it'd be fruit flies. Shit, that, that's prison hooch. Taste it, Nick. Kick a drink. <laughs> you, you <know. laughs> that is what, now here's what you do. You and your partner, we start taking bags. So you... I do this. Oh, I need a, a regular cup. Now, we call it a quart of wine. See, now this, everybody, we recall, hold this bag up, Nick. Wait. I'm giving a little bit more. Now this is what they call a neck of wine. Just like this in a bag, maybe not this big bag, we would have a garbage pail full. Now guys would be buying that for $5. That will get you messed up. This is probably, I used a lot of sugar. So this is probably 12, 13% alcohol. That's what we're gonna cook it, and that's what we're gonna show you here. Now the white lightning is gonna be fun, and that's what I'm gonna show you how we make that. Now the next the next move, you take your bucket. But Nick, I saw that this was broke. Obviously you can't use this, and the buckets we use were high. So forget that. We have another bucket. This is what we do. Now you see all this stuff? This is so infused with alcohol, you don't throw it out. Because believe it or not, at the end of this whole thing, when I had all these peels and everything, we'd suck on the peels. So here's what you do next, Nick. And you keep doing this. Now, the next part is really cool. Take a bag. Give me a hand, put that, that bucket dead center. Dead center. Hold that. If you've watched my shows, and I want you to watch a lot of them, this is what they call a stinger. This will be able to boil that wine until it comes up on the uh, sides of the thing. You make sure that they're not touching each other, the wire. You then insert it into the liquid. It has to be in the liquid. So, looking around, we didn't have a screw because you need to tighten this so it's sealed. So I'm actually going to use my own sneaker. So we used to do this with the boots, obviously, but we all had string anyway for a lot of things. We can make string and ropes in prison, but I'm going to show you why you need this. So what you do is you leave that out, put it like this, grab the whole thing. No, no, put that in. It's got to be in. Let it go. Now here, hold that. Just hold the wire, right. Look what I'm doing, people. Now when we were in Atlanta, let me tell you what happened here. We blew the door off of a back, back uh, shower, steel door. Because what happened is the fumes got out and we had a short. I hope that doesn't happen here, we could be in trouble. Now, hold that up, oh boy. Plug it in. All right, now what's happening is that it's boiling. Once that becomes to a boil, it's going to start expanding the bag. The two pieces of metal together will actually have conductivity between them. And I, I showed how to make a stinger. If you haven't seen how to make a stinger, make sure you go to my playlist. How to make a stinger and how to make it work and boil water. All right, everybody, as you can see, it is now expanding. What is happening is this condensation, see what I just did? That's all alcohol. That's alcohol that's building on the bottom. You don't want to have it's so tight that it blows. You gotta air it a little bit. Just a little. Alright, now I'm gonna show you guys what's going on. Oh fuck. Woo! Oh shit. Oh yeah. Oh. Look at that. Un un unplug this thing, Nick, please. Like that. Okay, now you never take that stinger out of liquid while it's plugged in. If you do, you're gonna blow a fuse. Pull this thing around, Nick, please. 
throw it in the sink. Now, the next thing we're going to do is pull the bucket out and there's going to be liquor on the bottom. So what we're going to do now is we're going to pull the bucket out from the bottom of the bag and the bottom of the bag is going to have pure alcohol. Is it hot? Okay. Now, you get rid of this. Get rid of that. See what I got here? This is pure white lightning. Look what's happening. Oh. All right, now I'm going to show you how potent this is. This is what we would do in prison to show someone how potent it is. Okay, now watch. That is how potent it is, people. Just like that. You can put it on fire. So, we're gonna, I'm going to take a sip of this. I hope I don't puke. Nick, try it. Well, you, you don't drink it raw, people. You put a Coca-Cola in it. But that is how you make white lightning, guys. I would sell that thing for $40 to $50. All right, everybody. I hope you like in the Convict Kitchen. Yes, we're different. Stay tuned. Like, subscribe. Check us out. The Convict Kitchen every other Sunday right here on this YouTube channel. Have a great day, everybody. Stay safe. Make good choices, and please, don't try this at home. This is done by a professional. Have a great day, everybody.